Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm hitting up the expedition. We're on phase four now, people. So let's jump on over. Tend to game. Okay, people. Well, we're in game. Lovely job, Liz. Thank you. Brilliant day. Let's have a quick look, see where we are. Phase four. Right, well, we better continue on with this pilgrimage. Yes, I mean, that's what it calls it in the freaking menus. So let's fly on out. Let's jump on over to the galaxy map. Let's just check my warp fuel. Oh, it's only on 20% left. We're putting one of these normal ones. There we go. Chikaboom. Oh, we've actually got eight of them, apparently. Eight or 20. All right, fine. Okay, go we go. Let's um, open up the old galactic map and let's jump again like we did last episode. There we go. Meow. Dilly And you know what, people? I'll just see you guys at the rendezvous point. I think you get the idea by now. Okay, chums, well, we're approaching this rendezvous point. And as you can see, this is very hilly. If hilly is even a word, it's freaking mountainous and treacherous, as well, I should say. It says I'm going to take another 24 freaking seconds to get... Oh, actually, it's... it's um. Hmm. That timer seems to be going a bit friggin' weird. It's all over the bloody shop. I don't know when I'm going to arrive, and I don't know where it's taking me. Is this just a, a random location as well? Is this a proxima? I think it is, isn't it? I don't think it's bang on perfect of where I should be. No. Great. Land to begin search. I just saw a colossal archive just fall all the way down here somewhere. Didn't you? I'm fairly sure I did. What the fudge is this? Is this a colossal archive right there? I don't know. But I don't overly fancy climbing all the way back up this mountain again, people. All right, fine. We'll just land on the top of the mountain then and uh, see where it takes us. I think there's a base right here or something. Yeah, there's a base here. We'll just stand here. We'll just stop here. I'm stopping at a base, people, and I'll make my way to the rendezvous point. I'll see you there whenever I find it. This is going to be a tricky one. Well, chums, after a long, odious frickin' journey, I finally got here. I'm fairly sure if I left that footage in, there would have been parts of people that said, oh my god, that was hilarious, and other people that would have said, that was friggin' tedious. It was a bit of both, has to be said. All right, well, I've arrived, okay, did. I guess I have. Lovely. Merry Christmas, indeed. There we are. Well, let's sort of scan that. Boom. I guess I've arrived, okay, did. Arrived, okay, did. I guess I have. Okay, there we go. Let's hit this one up then. Lovely jubbly. And improved memory of Rata Stars. And we've got math to do. Four, nine, four, nine, fifteen. Four, nine, fifteen. Four, nine, and fifteen. Here we go then. Da, da, da. Four. And nine. Fifteen. We're done, people. I guess. Lovely jubbly. Dump memory. Final lines. Download. Lovely. Jobs. Okay, something popped up there, but I pressed my button to blinking quickly. Okay. I'm fairly sure we can make sense of it, people. Let's go into here then. Claim that. Nice. Construct the legs. Oh, there we go. We need hydraulic wiring times two, magnetic resonator times one, and lubricant. Where the but am I going to get lubricant when it's at home? Great fun. Okay. Um, okay, they've given us the gamma root. We need that to make lubricant. So the other thing that we need is fungal mould, I believe. Let's, um, let's go into the old menu and let's have a quick look, see how we construct a lubricant. Fecium. Okay. So we need some more gamma root, but we also need fecium. Now you get fecium from feeding creatures, or you can murder creatures and you can turn their body parts into fecium. Yes, that's probably what I'm going to do. I don't really need the water protection. I'll probably get to change that when we go up into the old station, swap it for nanites. Anything else I've got? Anything on my starship? I did murder some creatures. Ah, I've got that. That will turn into fecium there, the mordite. But... We need quite a lot. And that's not enough creature murdication right there, is it? Okay, and I didn't see any creatures on this planet as I was sort of moving around. Are you a creature? What the fudge are you? Oh, it is a creature. We'll murder that. Ah! He headbutted me. Did you see that, people? Did you freaking see that? Freaking headbutted me. Die! 
Did it die? Nope, it's still not dead. Oi, don't you run away from me! Dang it! It just went over yonder hill, didn't it? It knows I'm trying to kill it. There he is. You can't escape me. I've got murder on my mind. Okay, here we go. Die! Oh, fudge and heck! He's getting rather angry. He's going to kill it. I got murdered by a ball. Oh, for fudge's sake, I got murdered by a bloody ball. Oh, for fudge's sake. That's not good, is it? Oh, I bet there's some people out there right now laughing their freaking butts off. Yes, I got murdered by a freaking ball. I took on a whole freaking squadron of sentinels, but I got murdered by a bloody ball. How's that a planetary predator? Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay, right. Well, I, I need to go and get my grave. Well, there's no way I'm bloody walking there from here. It took me bloody ages. All right, where's my um, marker? Where's my grave marker? I'm never going to spot my grave marker amongst all this cack. Okay, yes I am. There it is over there. Well, let's just hope I can land in close proximity to my grave marker, shall we, people? Right, where's that freaking marble of death that got me last time? Right, we land here. Land! Freaking land! Land! You know you want to, just land, please, please land. Please land, there we go. Cool, a begging with the universe sometimes works, people. Right, I'll go pick up my grave. And uh, then I'll try murdering some more ball creatures. Uh, or or not, because that really did freaking muller me, didn't it? It just got me just right where it could just keep rolling at me and attacking me, like constantly. I didn't stand a bloody chance, people. Yes, his attack methods were rather sneaky. Yeah, there we are. We've got all my grave back. Nice. Might as well get all this condensed carbon because it's here for free. But yeah, that creature really did freaking kick my butt. Maybe I should try feeding it and waiting for it to poo. But I don't know whether these creatures can be fed. That's the thing. That's why I was murdering it instead. Hmm. I'm not seeing any creatures at the moment. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We've got a creature there. But they, again, they're not the sort of creatures you can feed. Aha. Let's, let's see if I can feed it, people. Let's give it a go. Ah, you can feed it. All right, good. Hopefully it's going to start pooping. Rather than me killing it or it killing me, I will befriend it. We will befriend this creature. It will be my friend. And it will poo. It's rolled off into yonder. I don't know where it's gone, but it should poop any second now. Oh, look, we got ourselves like a little potato creature over there as well. Let's befriend him. There you go, mate. Eat up. And then poo. I need you guys to poo for me, because I need feciums. Yes, it's a thing that I need. Okay. Um, Why did it not poo? Why is it just rolling? I don't think that one poos. I don't think it does. Right, we'll zap it instead then. Hopefully this one poos. Go on. Oh, it's bloody not pooing. Right, you can die then. Yeah, you're not going to attack me, are you? No. There we go. We've got some Mordite. We didn't get very much Mordite, but as you can see, these creatures don't really want to poop. So, you know, it is what it is. Sorry. Where'd that roly-poly one go? There he is. Uh-oh. I think I've, I've, I've... Oh, no. I'm being attacked again. Die. Hold on. I think I might need a better weapon. Um, where's my weapon? Let's see if we can charge this up. Nope, we can't charge that up. Uh-oh, I'm getting attacked. We got it for a 45. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm going to get freaking killed again, aren't I? By this rolling creature of death. Where'd he go? He's freaking stealthy! We get this one instead. Ah! Something bit me! Freaking die! Freaking die! I can't see because of the storm now. These creatures are freaking sneaky! Freaking just die, would you? Oh, he's gone into the ground. That's that's fair, isn't it? Right, it's going to take me ages to get Fecium or Mordite at this rate. Great! Where's well, some easy targets? I need another easy target. Come on, give me another potato creature. 
That might work. Oh, it's that bloody ball of death again. Yeah, that's doing it. Friggin' die! No, oh my God, it's taking a beating. Look at it. I'm fairly sure the neutron cannon you can charge up. Yes. Why is it not dying? Oh, there we go. We got him. We got one. We got one, people. We got one. Okay. Now to transmute the uh, Mordite into lovely, lovely Fesium. Let's go stick that in there. I think it's one to one. We'll see. Oh, I've got to murder freaking loads of them to get my Fesium. Because feeding them just doesn't bloody do anything. They don't poop. Maybe I'm doing this on the wrong planet, people. Maybe I should just get my ship, fly to another planet and feed some creatures there. Yeah, you know what? Let's go to a neighbouring planet and let's see if there's anything that's a little bit more friendly over there. It doesn't take like an infinite amount of freaking bullets to kill or whatever. Oh, now the storm clears. Yeah, well, I don't like this planet anyway. It's all too... It's too freaking hilly. Okay, let's go. Take to the skies. Let's go find a flatter world that's got better bloody creatures. That, that's an idea. Right. What what planet shall I look at in this system? Well, that one looks nice. The star bramble, the ringed planet. Let's have a look at the ringed planet, people, inside of this system. That's not it. Okay. Spin it round. Looking for a planet. Planet. There you go. We go there. We go there. So we're going to Hokateri Jogoraka. Yes. And that's in this system. Gojononom. Yes. Cool. Right. We're going there then. Okay. It looks like someone's conveniently placed down a save beacon. Don't know why. But we'll go there. We'll hit up a save. Might as well park there. And have a look at this planet. It does look flatter than the last planet we was on. We can only but hope it's got creatures that I can feed. Pet. Tame. Oh, okay. There's a sentinel pillar right here as well. We could check out the multi-tool in it, I suppose. But anyway, we'll land here. Lovely! Let's just hope I don't get attacked by sentinels on my arrival. Nope, I didn't. It's nice. Has this guy stuck something over the panel? Nope, we're good. Let's, um, let's have a look what's in here. Let's have a look what sort of weapon we get inside of here then. Extract weapon technologies. Oh, it's very nice. It's very kinky, but look how much is busted in there. It'll take me a lifetime to get that sorted. I'll leave it. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, people. Let's go and find some creatures on this marble, shall we? Creatures, creatures. I don't see creatures. Oh, hold on. We've got a creature. It's one of those little bouncy turd-like looking gits. Again. And I don't think they poop, do they? I'm, I'm going to try it again anyway. Let's give it a go. Eat up and freaking poop up. That's what I need you to do. I need you to poop for me. Not asking for much. Just asking for your poop. Nope, I do not want to adopt you. I do not want to tease out honey. I want you to crap. Do a poo. All right, people. I'll be right back with you. Hopefully it poos. The magic has happened, people. It done a turd. Okay, right. Move out the way of this turd. Yes, I want to search the feciums. How much feciums do I get? There's not a great deal of feciam, is it? Well, I can feed it again and wait again and then, uh, you know. Or we could look for other creatures, I suppose, couldn't we? Because that one's a little bit... Oh, great. There's another one of those over there. That's about it. I don't know whether it's going to poo a second time. I think it takes a little while to go through its digestive tract. It'd be nice if we could find a whole freaking herd of them. I'll go look for creatures and I'll be back with you people as soon as I've found something that's a little bit craptastic. Well, this planet really doesn't have much fauna on, so I've just fed another one of these little guys and I'm just waiting for him to poo. It's, it's now going into bloody night time just to show just how much time I've spent feeding creatures and waiting for them to freaking drop a turd. Um... Fun times, it has to be said, you know. Uh, this is what my life has come to. Just poo! There we go. There we are. We saw the magic happen in real time. Thank you. 
Okay, right. I just killed him as well. So hopefully we're going to get a load more Mordite. There we are. Mordite and poo. Yeah, lovely. Okay, right. Well, we can put the Mordite into here. Lovely. So there you go, people. There's a little tip for you. You can feed them, pick up their poo, and then murder them, and get yourself your lovely little bit chunk of there. There we are. And we only got five for that. Okay, that murder did not really pay off too well, did it? How much poo have I got now? Oh, I've got the 50 I need. That's brilliant. Okay, now I can make the lubricant then. I can't. Why can't I? Because I haven't got enough gamma root. Okay, well, to get the gamma root, all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick down this, my portable refiner. Oh, great. I'm in somebody's base permissions area. Of course I am. Okay, so I'm going to have to wander around until I'm out of somebody's base parameters. I didn't even realise I was that close to somebody's base. All right, well, we'll head over this yonder hill and hopefully I can just glitch in stuffage. Let's have a look-see. Okay, here we are. Get this, put that there. Run over to it. Stick in my lovely, 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 lovely stuffage. And it was that that I needed to duplicate. There we are. And put one of these on top. Chicka boom. Make sure it's dead on top because it's a very, very precise now. Pick them both up. There we are. I've got the 400 that I need now, people. Right. So hopefully I can now craft the lovely lubricant. Yes. And to make the rest of this guy, which is... What, what is it that I need to make? The legs, isn't it? It's the legs that I want to make. There's the legs. So I've got the lubricant. Now I need the magnetic resonator and the hydraulic wiring. Hmm. I might have to head on up to the Nexus and get the blueprints for those. Because I don't think I've got the blueprints for them, have I? No, I does not. All right. Well, we go call in the old Nexus. Let's call in my ship. And we go call in the Nexus. I'll show you how to call in the Nexus just in case you've never done it before. Huh? I would like to hope that you have. But at the same time, if this is your first expedition, one of the first times hitting up No Man's Sky, then, yeah, just in case. It's flown to yonder. Meow. And you press down on the D-pad. Brings up the quick menu. And there's your Nexus there. Nice. And I'm flying in. Cool. And I'll go get those blueprints for those two items. I'll show you where you get those as well. Okay, right, people. Once you're inside of the old Nexus, if you head on up this ramp right here, past this purple, hello kitty headed looking chap. It looks like the hello kitty we've gone for a blender. You pass them, head on up this ramp after, you know, trying to scrub your memory of said face and head on over this way you're going to be introduced with a load of other people that also look like they've just fallen into a load of mutagen in teenage mutant ninja turtles you head on over to here and you head to this synthesis laboratory right here and hopefully you're going to find the resonator right there you need 250 nanites you should have that you need ionized cobalt not again and there's the actual hydraulic wirings. Let's grab that as well. You know what, while I'm here, just in case I need them, I'm going to get the quantum one and the one next to it. Just in case. I'm probably sure that you don't need them, but you know, just in case. Cool. I'll grab that too, Solar Mirror. Lovely jubbly. All right, they're all the sort of rarities. Freaking awesome. Lovely. Okie dokie. Now I should be able to make those things just if I've got the resources, which I haven't. Um, so, yeah. I need to make a few of those. Dang it, I need salt. Fudge and heck. Darn and blast. Okay, that means going back into oceans, perhaps. I will look at recipes and see if I can work out to make salt another way. If I find an easier way, I'll be sure to let you know. And we've also got to make this guy, which ionized cobalt. I think I've got a load of cobalt just sitting around doing very little right now. Let's have a look. Uh, lovely. I'm going to here. Have I got any cobalt? I've got a little bit of ionised cobalt left, but I actually, I think I spun it all up and used it in a preserved recipe. I did. So I'm going to have to go in a cave and I might have to go into the water to get salt. But I'll see if I can find another way to make salt. Okay, chums, there is a way to make salt um, using some commodities that are quite easily readily available. But to do it, you need yourself a medium refiner. So I've come over to this terminal, the opposite side of where the other one was, and I'm looking for the medium refiner in here. There it is. It's only going to cost me 10 salvage datas, so I may as well grab that. Nice. You know what? I'll go for a large one as well while I'm at it. There we go. Lovely jubbly. So I should be able to build one of those at a base. Okay, call you. 
Well, I have got a base. The only thing is, I might not be able to get back to this system unless I visit the station. So now I'm just going to fly over to the station. Then I'm going to go visit my... Mm, the base is on a freaking terrible sentinel world. You know what? I might just build another base just in this system, people. Okay, well, let's do that then. You know what? We might as well just have a look at the expedition where I need to go to. Commune with the Atlas. I might as well just fly to a planet in this system. I go back to that ring planet and I put down a base there. There you go, people. I've just touched down on the actual ringed planet. I'm just going to put down a base computer right here. Chicka boom, chicka pow. Go claim said base. Lovely, lovely. Now, you could have gone to maybe the space stations and saw if those parts were for sale. I think in one of the other rendezvous systems we did actually see those things for sale further back in one of the other phases. Sadly I didn't buy them and didn't really take much note of which station it was in. So anyway, now if I pick up that large, well medium refiner or large refiner, if I press triangle to go into the wire mode and then press triangle and place at the same time, even though I didn't have the actual materials, I can put one down. Head on over to it. Lovely jubbly. And I'm using the No Man's Sky Assistant app to take a look at how to make salt. Now, to make salt, it says here... Well, I'll make myself a little bit bigger on the screen. One second. Here we go. It says here, all I need is dehydrogen and oxygen. So we're going to give it a go, people. I've got some of that, haven't I? Right, let's go back into game. So, I want the dehydrogen. I won't put all of it in. I'll just put in half. And I want some oxygen. I have been killing quite a lot of hazardous flora. Oh, I've only got 56, so. Great. Well, that's going to make me some salt anyway. There we are. I mean, I can always duplicate this, so that's not a hardship. Let's take that out of there. Uh, you know what? I might as well just take out the rest of my dehydrogen as well. Thank you very much, large, ref well, medium refiner. Okay, so how much salt do I need to make these things? Oh, okay. Well, I've got 20. But to make these legs, how many do I need? I need two of those hydraulic wirings. Okay, carbon nanotubes. Okay, well, let's make some more carbon nanotubes. Make six of them. Now, can I make these? I can. Can I make two? I can make two. I don't need to be overly greedy. There we are. Done. And what else do I need to make these lovely legs? Legs, 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 where are you? That's not the legs. There's the legs. A magnetic resonator times one. Oh, don't say I need salt for that as well. Ionized cobalt, of course. Right, so I need to find a cave. We go find a cave. We go make ourselves some cobalt. And we're good. Right. Okay, I think I can see a hole in the ground over by all that lovely star bramble over there. We we'll head there. And hopefully that's a cave, not just a divot in the ground. Looks like the sun's about to come up on this lovely planet. Thank you. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Thank you. Voice of an angel that's being tortured. Right, let's head in, in here. Grab myself my lovely, lovely mining beam. Yeah, well, I'm in a cave, so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to zap this. Thank you for the warning, though, Exo. It's much appreciated. Yeah, I call the little droid on my shoulder, Exo. I used to do voice acting for the old Exo and stuff like that. It used to take me quite a while to make those sort of videos. I was con I was considering doing it all again. Maybe buying No Man's Sky for the old Xbox and um, trying to get my Xbox save up to this sort of standard. Uh, but I I'm waiting for it. An update to No Man's Sky, or for Hello Games to say, you know what, we think we're about done now, and uh, the only things we're going to be doing is expeditions and adding in Quicksilver stuff, or cosmetics, you know. When they get to that stage, then I might just do that, and uh, start another adventure from scratch. Because I don't want to stop playing No Man's Sky. You know, even if they do bring out this Light No Fire, and it's a massive success... I still want to have a sci-fi game on my channel as well as having a fantasy style game on my channel. 
you know what? If it's two Hello Games titles that my channel has then got, one for sci-fi, one for fantasy, I think that'd be quite a well-rounded channel. Let us know in the comments what you think about that idea, people. Yeah, I know I've just spun it up in the middle of this video. I'll probably make a separate video on it. I'll probably do polls closer to the time. But, you know, you guys watching this, you can chime in, especially if you're new to my channel. It'd be nice to hear new people's thoughts and feelings on that idea. Right, let's zap this, let's zap that. I mean, did you subscribe just for my No Man's Sky content? I don't know. Let me know. There we go, chaboom. Okay, right, let's head on over into my exosuit. Let's grab all that lovely, lovely cobalt that I... Oh, okay, I've got seven ionized cobalt at the moment. 520! I went to frickin' town, didn't I? And back. Okay, we'll get that going. I'll reconvene with you in a bit. I'm just going to walk back to my ship. I'll see you there. Okay, well, I'm back on my ship. I should be able to make that resonator now. Um, I haven't took the stuff out of my freaking personal refiner. There you go, portable refiner, whatever it is. Personal refiner, one or the other. And starship, there we go. And magnetic resonator, there we go. Now I should be able to make the robot legs. We're done. We've freaking done it, people. Yes, there we go. We're free to roam. Okay. Um, let's claim that then. Sweet. Nice. Okay. And now we need to go and commune with the old Atlas. Let's go do that then. Hold on. Consult priest entity Nada before proceeding to the Atlas. Okay. You see that down there, people? That's very easy to freaking miss. Okay. So we need to go into the expedition and you need to select grand designs. Okay. So if you can't actually get to the Nexus, that would be why. You've got to do this first. Grand Divergence. I had somebody hit me up in the comments saying exactly this. They couldn't actually work out how... They thought the game was broke. That was so easy to miss, though, people, wasn't it? I, I could have missed that. Right, let's head on in. Let's go speak to Nada. I'll show you where he is once I get in here. Okay, chums. Right, well, here I am inside the Nexus. And uh, there is this cube right here. You see this cube? The Nexus cube. Once my jetpack is fully recharged, I should be able to fly on top of the Nexus cube. Boom. I mean, you can go up that, that ramp there, past Hello Kitty face, and up through the side door, and then up into here. But I'm doing parkour hardcore. I'm going to jump over onto this mezzanine now. Boom. And Nada is this guy. It looks like he's straight out of Daft Punk. that has got an awesome freaking cape that's still not given to us as travellers. I want a priest Nada cape. Please, Hello Games. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yep. Reveal the construct. There you are, my friend. Cool. But glass, void, abyss, Atlantid. All words to fill a gap in understanding. A gap we may both approach. Heck yes, it needs to come into game. It really does. I love all this lore in here. I know I've been skipping over it. There's a reason for that, people. I, I want you guys to read your own lore as you're doing this. Rather than me. Anyway, I did a whole lore breakdown on this. I'll probably find the video. No. Yeah, could do. Anyway, you could probably find it. Just put Captain Steve Void and something should come up. Okay, well, there we go. Um, right, so we're still doing this one. We need to find a divergence cube, apparently. And we've got to do that from the galactic maps. This is all before you go to speak to the Atlas. Okay. That was a very easy to miss step. Has to be said. I bet there's a few people that got a bit confuzzled there. Right, well, let's fly on out then. Meow! Dream a dream! And you can fly away! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. Freaking beautiful voice. And here we go. I'm going just there. Alright, fine. Meow! I'm on my way, people. I'll let you know once I get to wherever I'm going. Right! Well, here we go. I've arrived in... Oh, for fudge's sake. It looks like I've got to do battle with pirates. Um, or not. I could just leg it into the space station if it's right next to me. Where is the space station? There it is. It's on my radar at the top. It's not appearing on my little mini-map. It's somewhere this way. There it is. I'm going to fly in there and hopefully sort of negate this battle. Because I really don't need to do it. And I can't be asked to do it. So I'm just going to fly in here and hope somehow I can come out of here and dodge the battle. I wish that when they hail you, if you said do one, you're on your own, mate. It would just get rid of this battle. 
you know, when Hello Games did the whole trailer to say, you know, you can pick a side. Well, I'm picking. I don't want to be on any side. You should have that as an option, in my opinion. Okay, we've got another little bit of synopsis there. It says, Nada hopes to test the properties of Atlantean. The great. Frickin' disappeared, just as I was reading it. There we go. They believe that the autophages, echoes, and flying resort. Locate the site. Nada was marked on the... Okay, well, let's hope that I can bloody see it before I get sucked back into this battle. I mean, I can see a giant knowledge stone there. Let's just head that way as quick as we can. There we are. I managed to dodge the battle. Hopefully it's not going to pop me out of my hyperdrive. I'll see you there, people. Well, I'm nearing to Nada's ritual site. I've seen a couple of comms balls start to pop up. So I'm going to fly down to where these comms balls are. And if I see a whole herd of comms balls, then that's probably likely the site, isn't it? There we go. This looks like it. Look. We've got a lack of monolith there and a load of comms balls. I mean, yes, normally I would say, you know, it'd be nice to disable all this stuff. But sometimes they do act as decent sort of beacons to sort of home yourself in on. Okay, we'll land here. But at the same time, you do get some rather weird comms ball messages, don't you? I have added to that fray of comms balls in the past, but it's very rare that I do now. Oh my days, this is a cool planet. Okay, here we go. Well, I guess I interact with this. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Okay, I learned the word for Atlas. Here you go. This is what I need to go to. I need to go to this one. Okay. And I guess we're going to slaver this with this Atlantium. There we are. You haven't got Atlantium? You get it from shooting those purple crystals on these uh, weird distant planets. Nice. There we are. Done. Oh, that is freaking nice. And look, it's... It ha oh, I'm having that. Ah, have I got enough nanites? I, I don't know whether I have. I haven't. Oh. I think it worked. How did that just happen? All my nanites have gone, but I didn't have enough nanites. Well, that was weird. All right, well, I can package all my technology out of my current multi-tool. So I need to go into my menu here. Grab my old multi-tool, which was this one. And I need to package everything out of this. So, here we go. How do I package store technology? I'm probably going to run out of slots doing this. It's going to take me a while, but there you go. All you do is you take it out bit by bit. And we're going to stick it all back in. Bit by bit. This is going to take... It's painful doing this. I wish there was a, a way to just say transfer technology from one multi-tool to another. I mean, we've got all this blank space here. And it could show you other multi-tools down here. And you could say transfer. Package and transfer. To multi-tool. Uh, and it does it all automatically. That, that'd that be freaking lovely, Hello Games. Yeah, because this is... This is a joy of pain, isn't it? There we are. I, I, I think I'm full now. I don't think I've got any free slots. So... I might have to swap my multi-tool and mess about. But anyway, I think you get the idea of what I'm doing. I don't even got any room there. My starship's too far away. So, yeah, I'll be right back with you. Well, okay then. I've now got my new multi-tool, which is freaking awesome. Um, apart from it's not got any bullets in it anymore. Yeah, okay, we'll charge that up. Lovely jubbly. Awesome. Oh, I've got to charge everything up. Oh, yeah. That's pretty darn sweet. Epic. Brilliant, eh? Okay, Golio, I'm ready to soldier on now, people. Okay, so we've done that. Follow Nada's instruction. I'm fairly sure I just blinking did that. Okay. Okay, I am at the ritual site. Um, oh, I've got to go back up there. All right, fine. Sorry. Going up here. Sweet. I guess we're going to get a different sort of message. Yes. Go on. She will see us, her children. Oh, righty then. Okay, we've got the Echo Seed now, people. All right, there we are. Let's uh, let's go and claim that then. Done. And now we can do this one prayer to commune with the Atlas. So you've got to do it in that order, people. Okay, so if you are struggling, that could be why. Boom. Chicka pow. Chicka yeah yeah. 
I'll see you inside the Atlas. Yeah, well, we're heading in. We're into that lovely red room full of that freaking giant orb. Righto. Hello there, Atlas interface. Pokey pokey. Now, I have run this before in the past. And I know that something quite weird happens inside of this Atlas. But anyway, let's just head on down. Bam, bam, bam. We're still not learning any Atlas words when traveling on these lovely marbles. No. Can I claim any of these warp cells that are sort of on these pedestals? No, they're not interactable with. Here we go then. Hey there, Atlas. Cool. Present construct parts. There we are. Destruction of Corvax Prime. Nardo will condemn the false entity. Okay. All that sort of shenanigans. Lovely. We're now getting those sinister noises in the background. There's actually a hidden message in all of that. I did a lore video on it. Freaking craziness. I do love all the lore in No Man's Sky, people. Claim that. Sweet, sweet seed of life. Okay. Now I'm going to have to craft that. And it looks like I can do it already. I've got more than enough magnetized ferrite, which is lucky. Boom. Hopefully that's going to pop the badge. Claim that badge. Sweet. Okay, here we go. Bring the Echo Seed to Nada. Right, we can do that. That's, that's, that's not a hardship. Cool. Oh, I guess all I need to do is just fly out, call in the old Nexus, and go and see Nada. So you know what, I'll go do that. I'll fly out of here in the ship, call in the Nexus, and hopefully see you with Nada. Okay, well, I'm back on this mezzanine. Let's go and speak to this guy. Hello there, Nada. How are you? Reveal Echo Seed. There you are, my friend. Go on. Yes. Go on. He's talking about the lifeboats, those weird things that we see in space, the ones that have been talking to us all this time. Okay. So now I now need to speak to Polo to do the construction. Yeah, there you go. There's the construction schematics. Does this take time? I can't remember if there's a time gate of like an hour or something. Yeah, ten minutes. There's ten minutes that I need to wait for now, people, before I can actually get this thing done. And I don't think you can do much because this one doesn't unencrypt. And I, I wouldn't press on and do anything until this is ready. So you know what? I'm going to go make myself a lovely cup of tea. And I'll be back with you in 10 minutes or so. I'm just going to stand here and wait for the 10 minutes. I don't like time gates. But there we are. It is what it is. Well, this is weird, people. I just had a message pop up that he's finished. But it hasn't been a full 10 minutes. At least I don't think it has. That's uh, okay. Done, I guess. Polo has reassembled the, pol the construct. Okay, so we're heading up here. Now, I know where the construct has been constructed. Because I've done this the first time around. And here it is, here. Lovely jubbly. Speak to the action construct. There we are. Find the echo seed. Chicka boom. And hopefully he awakens. There we go. We got him. He's awakened it. Lovely, lovely. Cool. Done, dilly, and done. Ha 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 ha. Pop into here. Into expedition. Claim the badge. You know what, I might as well put my headset back on then people might as well start playing again. Cool. Stick my little freaking hat on. Boom! Oh, you're giving us a stasis device. Those things are worth a freaking packet, mate. Yeah, you could duplicate the heck out of them and be very rich very quickly. Okay. Right, well, that's done then. Uh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Done, dilly, and done. And what's next then? Let's go into here. Claim that. Locate another echo. All right. Boom. Uh, right, it's pointing me back over towards Nada. I'm going to go and speak to Nada. I'm going to share some wordage with Nada. And I suppose Nada's going to send us on a mission to get this other echo seed. Right there. Hello there, Nada. Boom. Ask Nada's plan. Yeah, lanted the ums and all that sort of shenanigans. Nada believes Echo Seeds exist. Speak to Polo about a recovery method. All right. Hello there, little, my little friend. What do you got for me? Yes, I'd accept your schematics. We've got new catalogue items. 
Okay, well, I'll put it here to be fair. Boom, boom, boom. I had everything I needed. Lovely, jubbly. Done. Now, I did get gifted a load of those um, orb things, those Gravitino balls, in one of my mission rewards, which was lucky. Yeah, if you sold yours, getting those can be a little bit tricky. I mean, there was a planet in Phase 2 where I had to get my um, quad servo, where the planet was just filled with them. So, yeah, maybe jump to that planet if you haven't got them. Okay. Nice. Now what do I do? Alright. Press L3. Nothing happened. Scan world from space. Oh, okay. Right. Better pro probably wait for my scanner to recharge then. Is that it? Did that work? I don't freaking know. Well, that's a dissonant system. That is a mis that is a dissonant world. Locate an echo seed. Well, that's a dissonant world. I'm just going to go there because it says dissonant detected. I'm just going to go there and hope that it actually mm, fires up. A bit weird. It's definitely a dissonant planet, so it should have the dissonant spikes on it. Here we go. Now it's changed to another another sort of thing. Yeah, sometimes the game and the tutorial and the steps that you take, you've got to have a bit of experience, sadly. It's not as it's not as intuitive as it should be sometimes. But then for a procedural game as large as this, can we expect anything but? Okay. Okay, we're just going to go this way. I think it's that over there. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm heading towards, that over there on yonder hill. Okay, well, I'll see you when I get there. Right, well, I was, I was getting pretty darn close. Oh, there we go. 85 views. And the, the icon disappeared. Now I had to rescan. Now it's reappeared again. Okay, so right here. There's nothing here right now. But I guess I use this technologies. Boom! Look at that! That's pretty cool. What do I do to it? I'm trying to use my terrain manipulator. Probably the wrong beam. Let's use the runic lens. Ow! Don't you bite me, you! You freaking git! Yeah, so shoot you in the freaking face! How'd you like that? I've got some feline livers there. Okay. Is that all I needed? Okay, we've got one. We've got one. Right, looks like we're going to take that back to the space anomaly. Maybe implant it inside of that creature that we've built inside of there. The man spider! Okay, I'll see you back in the Nexus, people. And this planet here, just so you know, has also got those Gravitino balls on. Yeah, there's some there, look. They've got their two starry type icons on them. Anyway, I'm heading back to the Nexus before these cat creatures bite me a new one. Because it's a very bitey planet, that one. So yeah, you're probably wondering, well, what was that bitey planet, actually? I'm just flying into the Nexus. It was inside of this system here, and I think it was that one, maybe. No, it was a dissonant one. It was this one. What The ringed one. Oh, that's it. Anyway, heading in. Okay, making the leap up to the balcony to go and see Nada, the Daft Punk looking chap. Hello there, mate. Yes. Go. Cool. Let's chat to him. Let's see what do we need to do here. Lovely, lovely. Tappity tap. Done. Okay. Now what? Do I need to speak to this guy? Or do I need to speak to that guy? Plant the Echo Seed at Nada's Prime Terminal. Okay. So we head on up here. And we're heading to the back room. So this is the terminal where we had to put in Artemis that time. If you haven't done the main quest line, don't know what I'm on about. Try the Artemis quest line. Pretty darn cool. Set this up. Chicka boom. And upload. Chicka boom. Done. Sweet. Yes. We have popped that badge. Done. Lovely. Scanner module. Don't mind if I do. We'll get that installed right away. Chicka pow pow, chicka bum Sweet. And we're popping the last badge. Wayfarer's helm. That's a cool helmet. 
I could go stick that on, I suppose. Yeah, let's go stick it on. Meow. Da, 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 da. I might as well do the last phase with my new helmet. So I'm going to head on over to the appearance modifier, which is this side of the Nexus. Down this ramp, heading towards a guy that looks like he's got a melon for a head over there, Kronos. But we take a left and we go here to the appearance modifier. And it's the head that I want to change, but I don't know whether I can do it with this or whether I have to change myself to a... I think I need to be an anomaly. Yes. And then I should be able to change my head to the new Wayfarer's Helm. Very cool. You know what? I'm just going to be red. Yeah, let's just go for being red. There we are. That'll do. I look pretty darn freaking snazz, don't I? Right, I'll go jump in my ship, out of my ship to create a save. And I'm probably going to be ending off, people. So let's have made myself a bit larger on the old screen there. Sweet. Head on over to my shippity ship. You know what? Let's bring the game image up so at least you can see what I'm doing. There you go. There you are. I'll jump out, create a little save. And that's all of phase four done. So next we're going to be moving on to a phase five. And then we're done, people. So we're nearly there. Nearly there, people in the view of us. Until next time, you've all been freaking awesome. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again.